Yeah. Now we go to his other house because he's evil because he actually owns like two houses. Yeah. Plus he has an apartment on top of it, meaning he's a super nice guy and he actually has like real money. Yeah. So he's evil. He's using his money for evil. No. He went to Macy's and he goes, thanks for sharing. Evil. Dr. Frost, the evil scientist, gave money to charity. Yeah, watch out for him. He's evil. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, he's evil. He, he actually tried to contact his evil daughter named Stephanie. Yeah. Nine. Oh, no. Evil. He prays because he's a knight of Columbus. He likes St. Mary. Evil. He prays to an evil woman, especially if you're if you're Baptist or stuff like that. They don't like it. So I only pray. I don't worship. See, we don't worship Saint Mary. We we like intercede. Like in Cana, uh, he she went and said, "Hey, you know Jesus, can you make some wine?" And I say, "Hey, Mary, can you make some cancer stuff to heal people?" And she goes, "Yay! All right." Someone actually wanted to heal people of cancer, and she goes, "Yay!" Well, that's my opinion. Meaning, nobody really talks to Mary because she's really dead. <clears throat> oh no, it's the pioneers of illegal activities called Winnebago and Boone Counties where Steve lives. He's so evil that he wanted to learn the history. I mean, that's bad in America today because nobody wants to know history. It's evil of Steve, of course, because he actually learns about the history. See, they, the people that came before 1841, see, evil. Because he comes from an evil town called Vermont. They're evil up there because I have a family tree that goes back to the 1700s because we're evil there. Because we keep track of our family tree because we were evil by fighting in the Revolutionary War. We were evil for fighting in the Union. I mean, that's the way the Confederates look at it. So I guess Confederacy is still here in Illinois. It happens sometimes, you know. And then the evilness of going and fighting in World War I. My, my dad was definitely evil in Korea, trying to stop, you know, that North Koreans. I mean, look at how wacky they are, because that my dad was evil because of me. Because you said I'm evil. Well, then my dad's evil, too, because he's a veteran of the Korean War, trying to stop the assholes in the North. They're trying to blow up the world today. So thanks, Judge, for making my dad evil. <clears throat> there we go. I was evil. By going to a wake, not stalking Colleen, but actually going to a wake, because Colleen should have known about this. See, Colleen, since you can't hear this because you're stupid, this is all about everybody else but you. See, Esther told me that Connie, that uh, Andre had passed away, because Connie passed away last year, and then what had happened was, this is like her aunt, and I didn't know that, but because I talked to Esther, she told me about this so I could go to her wake and honor the family and say how wonderful, how wonderful Connie was when she was alive because she made dinner for us. And of course, that's evil according to the stupid judge and, and to Colleen. Those are all evil activities because this is called abuse by going to a wake of a friend according to Colleen and the judge. That's why I get upset because I'm evil by opening up a bank account called it Rock Valley Credit Union. The reason why I'm evil, I formed a company called Frost Laboratories Incorporated to cure the evil disease of breast cancer and prostate cancer. But because I'm evil, that means that you don't want it, Judge, that I don't, you know, that you don't want to have breast cancer and prostate cancer to be cured because I was evil and manic trying to run around, trying to open up this company. The people at Rock Valley thought I was very nice while Colleen and you say that I was evil for trying to cure cancer. And everybody has their own opinion. Some people want to die, Judge. Like Colleen, she just wants to die. Now, this is called a curricula vitae. I don't want to show it all, but this is my called resume. My evil resume, because I've worked my ass off, including an Illinois corporation called Biomarker Insights Incorporated that made an evil amount of $400,000 profit, meaning all the taxes went to Illinois, because it's evil of me to bring in money from out of the country. So all these things are evil. You must be a Democrat. That must be the reason why. 
just I've done everything that a Republican is supposed to do, so you must be a Democrat because that makes me evil, according to everybody today. Because as a, as a Republican, I mean, I, I stood firmly as a Republican behind Abraham Lincoln along with my family because I'm proud to say I'm a Union soldier because my uncle, great uncle, who is evil because of me, is like that. He's a proud Union soldier, Isaac Frost. And that's why Vermont boys are saying, you guys are insane in Illinois, not us. I mean, we fought for the Union, and we thought that was a good thing. Meaning, fought for freedom, not for abuse. Freedom, see, is not abuse. Freedom of will. Meaning, Colleen was free to go without any restraint. Free, not abusive. Duh. So that's why I had to join something called the American Civil Liberties Union. So my rights keep getting abused by people like Colleen and the judge, so therefore I'm part of something called... Uh, uh, something called the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU. Now, as a Catholic, it's kind of wacky because I don't believe in part of it. But overall, I believe in the civil rights for every human being because we say that we're all created equal in the eyes of God, even though people may not remember that. This is your dumb restraining order, by the way. Judge. Illegal restraining order. <laughs> oh, no, it's the evil St. Mary that I painted. Evil. And then, here's the stupidest thing I'm going to read later. It's called, My Letter to Colleen, which is evil according to you. Because I gave it to her as a mail drop because Colleen was evil and she did not respond to a certified letter. So therefore, I had to deliver the mail myself because she wouldn't accept a certified letter, which is illegal. She had to open it up and give me a response, just like Stephanie did. See, Stephanie did the right thing. I don't care if she ripped the letter and threw it apart, but she acknowledged the receipt while Colleen never did. That's evil, not me. She's evil, not me. Therefore, you got it wrong, judge. Wrong. 100% wrong. You get an F as being a judge, not me. Let's go look at what he did and try to get out of the country. As soon as Colleen started fussing up instead of being, even staying in this area. I wanted to go to a place called Ghana. See, Ghana is in Africa. Ghana is like Mars from here, meaning it's so far away, it's like an ocean away, meaning I didn't want to even see Colleen again. I wanted to go to Ghana. The embassy of Ghana knows that. That's called a fact. See, you, it's not delusional because that's called reality check. The woman's name is Carol Jones, and she actually has something called a visa. See, visa, meaning a permanent resident one, uh, a DV2 visa, what I have a picture of. So she wanted to come and see me. Evil man. That was after Colleen and I broke up. He was evil by dating again and not focusing on Colleen at all. The evil. It's all evil. No, he's evil. He bought this and he sent this to Colleen saying, look it. You know, Colleen, I put a little note on her car just and left right away just to tell her that, you know, this is what you're missing in the world. Because this is an evil 150-ounce silver, silver with gold plating bicentennial thing that I wanted to put in my office in, in 308 West State Street, Suite 460, Rockford, Illinois, 61101. Okay, that is evil because I wanted to put something nice in there for a bowl because I love my country I'm a patriot, fourth degree knight of Columbus, which is now evil, along with my love of country, which is now evil. So all these things are evil. So you must not be a real American judge. I am. I'm a real honorable man and a real man, and therefore I'm not abusive. No military man abusive like that. Evil. Oh, no. These are all pieces of crap around the house. Evil. Oh no, here's the certificate because this is a wonderful gift that could have been Colleen's. But no, it's evil of me to think of Colleen at all. No, I was just trying to make amends because I thought her soul was worthy of it. Meaning in Catholic Church, we believe if she breaks a vow, she goes to hell. I said, stop breaking vows and try to re-engage her. That's evil according to you. All right, it's a first mint thing. I can't get a good picture of it, sorry. That's not evil. We call that trying to reconcile, judge. Duh. So I just dropped off a package and I put a little note on her car and I ran away as fast as I could because I didn't even want to touch her. It's evil, judge, because I haven't talked to her at all for a month and a half. Evil of me. Never said a word to her. When I saw her, I put a little 
thing saying I got, I had a little sheet saying Frost Laboratories Incorporated. She ran one way and I ran the other. No drama. The I never at church, never did I confront her at church. I went to a different mass. That's not evil. That's considerate. Not trying to even do that. I went to the cathedral. I went to St. James in Rockford. And I went a couple of times in Belvedere at a different mass. And Colleen never saw me at mass at all. Therefore, she's a liar. Or you're dumb, one or the other. So just remember that stupidity. Listening, I'm a threat and stalker. Baloney. And I don't even swear, because I could swear. Oh, no. He actually is a communion host. That's evil. Look at that. He serves communion to the poor and the, the elderly. No, he's a German because he actually likes beer and has a stein and stuff like that. And he drinks tea if he likes tea. And he has a coffee machine. Evil. All these things are evil according to you. My life, my dedication to research, my dedication to my country, all these things are evil according to Colleen because that's abusive. All my honor in my world that I've tried to do nice things for the world and now I'm being called abusive again for being a nice man. Thank you very much, Judge. Maybe you'll hear this and everybody will laugh at you because that's it. You're stupid. Illinois is stupid if they actually believe this crap that I'm somehow manic by being the ultra nice man. Really, Judge? Get your facts straight next time before you make a decision. Do not be prejudiced, prejudge, prejudge, prejudice. That's illegal in this country. Prejudging, meaning you should be disbarred in my opinion. Listening to liars. Prejudice, prejudging. I work with the Commission of CCHR, Citizen Commission of Human Rights, because I am a whistleblower against people like you who are prejudiced against people that may not even have mental illness and then will go through the next stupid thing.